Welcome back to Codes Empire Unleashed, my friends. Well, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about, and I got my boys here with me, back here, and you'll get to see them on camera in a minute, but we're gonna talk about how to customize one of these Nerf guns, as you can see. This one's been a bit customized as far as paint and how you can do this, you know? Um, I'm sure there might be other videos out there, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna quick go over some quick things to help you be able to do this yourself. Um, especially if you're just new getting into it, maybe you know, you're know you a young kid and there's some paint out in the garage or something, okay? One of the biggest things is, you wanna make sure your paint's really good and shook up and it's warmed up. Um, mine's not entirely warmed up, but I'm not, a, you know, don't really worry too much about it. That's just me, because I wanna show you guys how to do this. The biggest thing with a lot of these Nerf guns and how they kind of function, okay, is a lot of their stuff inside. So as far as their, let's see if I can get a light in there for you. All the stuff that helps create the pressure to blow out your Nerf darts, okay? Um, all this stuff is just safety stuff to help make sure everything's engaged properly when you go to do it so that way it fires your dart out okay so the biggest thing is is of course you don't want to get paint and stuff on that little seal there um it depends on how you're going to paint this if you're going to get all crazy and really change it up big time or if you just want to add a little camoing to it if you're going to really paint this up big time and change the look completely i would advise making sure that you tape this stuff off to protect it okay you don't want to be getting paint on that because it will definitely cause you some major problems and anytime you paint when you're doing this stuff light coats okay don't sit there and spray it real heavy because you'll have heck of problems okay um being cold as you can see you can see our breath it's cold out here so when we go to do this we're going to be doing some light coats and using, you can use a hair dryer if you have a hair dryer at home. You could use a little heat gun. You could use a heater, which I will show you. I've got a propane heater and that's how we'll heat these real quick in between the coats to help quick cure them. And I mean, overall, it'll take a little abuse. I'm nicked off a little because, you know, you figure that's a corner edge and probably it's gonna hit some tape off what else you don't want to paint um, for instance i didn't want the trigger mechanism getting all painted up so other than that not a big deal we're going to work on my boys is so you can see this is what one looks like finished up boys are jealous they want theirs customized you can pick a wide variety these here happen to be tamaya paints okay um, i use them in rc painting okay these are for these particular ones are ts paints okay these are for hard body stuff in the rc world okay worked great on this so how to prep this up so after i taped it off um there's a couple things you could do you could use a scotch bright pad and quick scuff it up so it'll take some paint or you can do something even faster okay some brake cleaner you don't have to be this brand any brand okay don't spray it directly on there i'm telling you right now you spray it directly on there brake cleaner melts plastic okay but if you take a rag and you spray some on a rag okay and then quick wipe different spots real quick and wipe it down with the rag it will slow it will kind of eat into it some but it's not going to do enough damage to it to be a big problem okay so it basically will kind of break up the plastic just enough that once i was done with it real quick and then i kind of wiped it down real good to make sure there wasn't like excess chemicals sitting on it and then i was able to quick start painting man it was great it held up good i didn't have no issues and you can see i mean it looks good that's why it's holding up real nice to the abuse okay and you can see our nerf war and you'll can see in one of the shots got the camera going along with it so anyways 
enough of me talking about this. Let's get in on this and let's get one prepped up, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's work on Sparkies. Mm -hmm. So here's Sparkies. This is what this particular Nerf gun looked like beforehand, minus the cool light that he's got. Okay, you can see he's got the cool little light. We added that attachment. Um, we had to add a little deal to help him be able to cock this back because he's a little five-year-old. I had a hard time. He couldn't pull this back and get it to work its magic. So I added a little cheater deal so he can sit and hold it and bam, and pull it back and then start shooting. Okay. So you can do little things like this for the little kids. Okay. It's just a big old zip tie. I put a couple rubber bands so it wouldn't slide all around. So it would stay put and trimmed off the excess and it's perfect for him. Okay. So real quick, basically I'm just going to tape off some of this Especially our trigger, me our trigger mechanism, okay? And this doesn't have to be pretty. The idea is to, so that way you can have some fun and it'll work with what you're trying to do. And it's up to you how you wanna take this off, paint what you want, how crazy a paint job you're planning on going with it. Um, I figure this part here, the handle part, I don't want to get too elaborate. As far as other paints, I haven't tried out any others, but I'm sure if you treat them all the same way and use them in the same manner, it'll work just the same and you won't have issues. Okay. And this is why I'm wearing my rubber gloves. So that way I can actually hold this part while I'm painting it and I don't get paint all over my hands in the process. So as far as that, that's good enough to keep enough out because I'm not going to go heavy on this. Okay. So but I'll show you, it, it'll work out really neat. Um, you go, what about in there? I don't want to get paint inside of this guys don't spray paint in there okay that'll be a huge problem of course we don't want to get paint on his new little flashlight part okay so let's give it a nice little touch here okay so the idea is we're not trying to completely we, we want to create a kind of a camo pattern looking deal on this that's the reason why we're kind of doing what we're doing. We don't want to get crazy on this, but at the same time, I want it to still be functionable and him not have any issues with it. Oh, let's turn that off. There we go. Okay. And just to ensure that we don't have issues with uh, the firing mechanism real quick, let's make sure we put a little tape on that section there. See so you guys, see how I put a little tape there? Okay, don't need to get crazy there either. Okay, so that way it's there, it's taped, it'll be protected, and I don't have to worry about getting paint in on that. So this should be enough as far as what I wanna do with it to make it work, okay? And let's go take a look and get some paint on this thing, okay? Let's head out and we'll paint. Okay guys, so we're outside. We got our brake cleaner. You can see we've got our heater. Let me show you. Okay, just a propane heater. Nothing too fancy. Okay, um, but that way it'll allow us to kind of heat treat each uh, layer real quick. But we're gonna do light layers. I'm just gonna quick, remember, flammable. This stuff is very flammable, that's heat. So be careful. Okay, just getting this wet real quick. So it's very wet. You can smell it, really smelly, okay? Um, so all I'm doing is I'm just gonna lightly rub down this, being careful. I don't wanna go too crazy. Like I said, you can, uh, you can do it with uh, a Scotch-Brite pad and wipe it down after. But as you can see a little bit, it's kind of eating some of the paint off, okay? And that's totally fine. Okay, make sure to spin around the ammo carriage here. I guess this is what we could call it. 
okay? Because we want to add a bit of texture or paint to that. And you can see the my rag's picking up some of the stuff right on it, which that's fine because we're trying to rough it up a little bit. Scotch Bright pad, just the biggest thing with that is it's just going to take a little more time if you do the Scotch Bright pad or some uh, steel wool or some sandpaper. You can even do sandpaper, guys. Okay, whatever works for you. Okay. It's just gonna take time if you do that, okay? This process, see, I'm ready, boom, I can start painting, okay? Now, color, pick your colors, whatever, man. You wanna, you wanna make that thing feel more like a blue color, you could do that, okay? So, hey bud, I'll have you come over here so that way I'm not painting red on you. Okay, guys. So, all we're gonna do, and we're gonna avoid this flame here. Well, it's actually flameless. So we've got our, we're gonna go with a green, a little green. So I'm just gonna hit it in a few spots, okay? You can paint, you can make some cool things, whatever, okay? Upside down. Just gonna spin this a little bit so we can get a little on there a little over there okay okay you can see that's kind of the coloration well, it's nice. light it's not crazy but it works okay and then this here I mean you feel the heat here but a lot of it rises real quick here so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it up above it then I can heat treat it super fast. Now I'll kind of show you guys just a bit. And you can see there's still some spots, but we've got lots of colors, guys. Lots of different stuff we're going to go with to give it what we want. Okay, so the biggest thing is, is we don't want to get this so hot that we melt it, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Like I said, if you were doing a hair dryer, you do the same thing if it's in the middle of winter. Okay, okay, looks good, looks good and dry. Okay, so we've got a olive drab color, and we've got a uh, NATO brown. Okay, let's go with uh, brown. Uh, heat treating Sparky's uh, Nerf gun. What do you think? It's looking good. Mm -hmm. Is it looking mean? Yeah. Makes well, I like it too. It's pretty nice. It looks like army guy. It looks like an army guy. Sweet. See, and as you guys being kids out there, and you want to do this stuff, this is this is the kind of stuff that you know you want to have fun with and enjoy. It almost looks like a military gun after it's all painted. You know, kind of futuristic yeah. space age, right? Like so there's not necessarily a pretty art to this. You don't have to be like, oh wow, I gotta make it so pretty and beautiful. You know, you can, you can do a lot more fancy stuff with it, guys, but you really don't have to get crazy with it. Okay, so we're gonna go with this uh, olive drab now. Okay, and you can see we've got a few spots that could use a little extra. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna Cool. I like it. What do you guys think? It's a little wet still, but we'll quick cure it and it'll be ready to have some fun with.
Well guys, I know this took a bit longer than some of our videos, but this is kind of an instructional video, okay? So it's to show you how to modify and basically paint up your Nerf gun to look, have the feel you want it to have, okay? So now Sparky's excited, you know? Check that out. So yeah, it's still got that cool little orange deal and he can turn on his light, but we don't need to necessarily make it completely uh, painted up, you know, and change every aspect of it, but you guys, you can do these up to your imagination. And that's the whole point of this, okay? I'm just showing you a quick little tutorial kind of video on how to do this so you guys can get out there and have some fun with your Nerf gun. So, I mean, yeah, it's still, you know, it's still a Nerf gun, still cool, you know, still functionable. Yeah, I need a little bit of curing still, but we're close. Seems like it's pretty close to dry. Finish sliding that out. Uncover that, okay. And <clears throat> you guys can see all that's still clean. There's no paint in there, you know, minus the bit that overspray that got inside here, but that's fine, okay. And you can see all where your chambering goes as far as what's gonna seal up with the Nerf darts. So we're good. So this, this gun will be ready. Hey Sparks, do you have a Nerf dart? Go get me one and we'll show these guys how it works. So guys, Sparky went and grabbed me a Nerf dart, okay? And let's finish that up. We'll load one in, okay? And you can see, still function, still same, because I'm not, I didn't spray paint down inside. Okay, we're gonna slide that in. There we go. Okay. Oh, just in case we need our light. <coughs> okay, and we'll shoot it right next to the camera. Boosh! How about that, guys? Still works really good. Okay, that thing fired really awesome. So, come on over here, Sparks. You like it? Looks awesome, huh? Sweet. So, Sparky likes his Nerf gun the way we did it up now. It's cool. It's ready for him to have fun. And you guys can go do your same thing you know, a couple bucks worth of paint and some tape and you're ready to rock and roll, you know? I'm sure you've got some of the stuff laying around home and you can have some fun. So, what, how should we end that? Thanks for watching with Codes Empire Unleashed. Yeah, buddy. So, have fun, guys. And customize your Nerf guns, too. Until our next adventure. See you guys. Later. Bye.